from all around the world about the Mahindra Deshapti's case and what happened yesterday. Due to the prevailing condition in the country, the matter was taken up yesterday through a uh, Zoom link. And uh, application was made to the court yesterday. A lot of people I know, they watched the proceedings. They watched the proceedings yesterday. It was available to anybody to watch the proceedings yesterday through the Zoom link. Um, application was made to the, uh, the court yesterday. Make it, listen to this very carefully because this is a matter of national importance. Three judges can't take up this matter because uh, the seventh respondent, the former, uh, former uh, member during Mahindra Desha time, that is uh, Ratna Jeevan Hul, in an affidavit made to court, very clearly say he's a respondent. Remember, he's a respondent, Naganandi, the petitioner for all of you. In an in a, in a, in a affidavit filed in court, he said, the presidential election held in the year 2019, November, is a fraud. He said very clear terms that the Mahinda Deshapriya and the other member prevented him from questioning uh, the, his eligibility. That he was a disqualified candidate, not, I mean, not permitted by law to contest the election under Article 91 and 92 of the Constitution. He says in that uh, affidavit that he was prevented, not only he was prevented, he said there are only two candidates, that is, that is Nagananda and this uh, Gotabe. In, in case of Nagananda, he, he renounced his British citizenship and produced the certificate to the election commission, whereas Gotabe Rajapaksha never did. He goes on to say, state further that Gotabe Rajapaksha never produced the certificate even on the nomination day and he said 34 candidates were there for the election, none of them raised this issue. And uh, he said on that day, Nagananda's uh, candidacy was, uh, I mean, blocked and he was prevented from contesting the election. Therefore, uh, 10th respondent in the case, that is Chamal Rajapaksha, did not, who, who furnished all the furnish, I mean, the deposit for the election, he did not contest the election. This is basically, this was brought to the notice of the court. Since the uh, seventh respondent, uh, Professor Hool, very uh, clearly said that it was a fraud, application was made to the court yesterday to take up this matter, to refer this matter to the Chief Justice, and the court accordingly fit this matter for support on 5th of, uh, 26th of September 2022. The case reference is SC Rich 5, 2021. And, uh, but next Monday itself, exercising the power vested in any citizen. Every citizen has a right whenever a matter of national importance, okay, is challenged before the court, has a right, statutory right under the constitution to make a request to the Chief Justice to appoint a fuller bench, that is five or more judges. Therefore, application will be made to the Chief Justice to appoint five judges to hear this matter, not that far, right? This matter should take up immediately. This is a matter of national importance. If you have any further questions, you can raise the questions, I will answer. Thank you very much.